In the Georgia election interference case against former President Trump, All right. this Fulton County hearing could determine the future of that case. For a second straight day, Judge Scott McAfee heard evidence on allegations that DA Fonnie Willis financially benefited from a personal relationship with Special Prosecutor Nathan Wade, who she hired on the case. Now, Trump and several co-defendants are trying to have her removed. It is a lot. It is a lot. After more than two hours of surprise, fiery testimony yesterday, today, the state declined to call Willis for cross-examination. I have one daughter, uh, Fonnie Willis. On the stand, Willis's father, John Floyd, pressed on what he knew about her relationship with Wade. At issue, when that relationship began, before or after she hired him. Wade and Willis said it was after. Did you ever meet Mr. Wade in uh, the year 2019? Absolutely not. How about in the year 2020? Absolutely not. Also a focus, the issue of cash, which became central yesterday when Willis said that's how she would reimburse Wade for their vacations. It's a black thing, okay? You know, I was trained and most black folks, they hide cash. And I've told my daughter, you keep six months worth of cash always. Now, the question for Judge McAfee, will Willis be allowed to remain on the election interference case? What's at stake here? Well, what's at stake is that I, I, I'm pretty sure that if the DA is disqualified, I think the case is pretty much dead in the water because the chances that any new DA is going to be appointed to the case before the election is almost nil. And Blaine, with testimony wrapped now, when would we be likely see a decision on whether Willis will be taken off the case? Well, Lester, the evidence has all been presented now, but the judge now has to hear summaries from both sides. That's set to happen either late next week, if not the week after. So it could be sometime in March before we know the judge's decision. Lester. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.